Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at how the communication system sends and receives voice and other data on an aircraft. First, let's take a look at what is meant by a communication system in an aircraft. On an aircraft, the communication system is responsible for the transmission and reception of information. This information may be in the form of voice or in the form of data from the aircraft. This system should be able to manage communication outside the aircraft which is from aircraft to the ground station or with another aircraft in flight. It should also manage communication within the aircraft which is via the interphone for communicating with other crew members or to make announcements in the cabin. Now let's look at the parts that are required for audio communication in an aircraft. The communication system is centrally managed by an audio control unit. This unit is responsible for receiving information from different antennas, microphones and sensors. It is then responsible for processing this information and transmitting them to specific locations such as headsets or speakers in the cockpit or in the cabin. In the cockpit, the crew can manage the audio control unit with the help of an audio control panel. This will have different switches and knobs to transmit or receive information. The audio control unit receives information from different sources such as the intercom that is used for internal communication. It will also receive audio information from the communication or navigation radio from the ground stations. It may also be linked to some critical systems in the aircraft in order to trigger onboard alerts in case of failures. After processing the received data, the voice data is sent to speakers or headsets for the crew members. This unit will also send all the audio data to the cockpit voice recorder which continuously records all this information. The audio control unit allows the flight crew to select and control the received audio. From this panel, the crew may select VHF or HF channel for communicating with the ground station as required. They can also select crew intercom for communicating with other crew members or select the PA system to address the passengers. The audio control panel also has switches that can be used to turn the system on or off or to adjust the volume in the headset or the speakers and for transmission of audio over the selected channel. Now let's look at how data communication takes place from the aircraft. In most modern aircraft, ACARS is installed. This stands for Aircraft Communication Addressing and Reporting System. This is responsible for receiving and transmitting data from the aircraft. The ACARS provides a digital data link for the aircraft. This is used to send specific information to different stations on the ground. The data that is sent is taken from different aircraft sensors or systems and is transmitted via HF or VHF depending on the aircraft's position. The ACARS sends or receives data 
from the ATC for controlling a particular airspace. It could also send information to the airline operations control for efficient management of the airline fleet and personnel for smooth operation of all the aircraft. The ACARS sends data such as the aircraft position, the aircraft system status or any failures that occurred, weather related information and diversion information if required. In the cockpit, the crew can manage and monitor the data that is sent on the ACARS with the help of the control and display unit or CDU. The CDU is the only unit which provides an interface to the crew for sending information or receiving data. So the CDU provides access to information, transmits information automatically or manually if required and also has a provision for sending text messages to the ground control. For the communication system to send or receive voice or data signals, several antennas are installed on the aircraft. The aircraft will have VHF communication 1 which is normally used for voice communication and VHF communication 2 which is kept on standby and used for monitoring purposes only. The aircraft may have VHF communication 3 which is used along with HF for data transmission for ACARS. The aircraft will also have a transponder or ATC and a voice recorder or CVR installed at the tail section. For satellite communication, a SATCOM may be installed on some aircraft. So that's all for my video on how the communication system sends and receives voice and other information. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.